In this video, we will discuss how to implement generative AI application layer controls with Amazon SageMaker and partner tool Ylabs. My name is Ram Vittal. I'm a principal generative AI specialist focusing on governance and security for building responsible and scalable AI systems. Unlike traditional machine learning models, generative AI models such as large language models bring new set of monitoring concerns such as prompt injection which is injecting malicious content into prompts to exploit your AI system. Toxicity, large language model generating harmful or offensive or inappropriate content. Sentiment, monitoring sentiment allows us to gauge the overall tone and emotional impact of the responses. Relevance, helps evaluate the quality of generated responses using similarity scores between embeddings generated from prompts and responses and PAI, personal information leakage, detect, detect sensitive data in prompt or response and set up appropriate guardrails to prevent such PAI leakage. So uh, here you see an architecture, an example architecture for uh, setting up monitoring for a large language model uh, along being used in a generative AI application such as chatbot application that we spoke about. Uh, so basically, you could use uh, services such as AWS Amplify or any other service to build out your generative AI application and uh, where you would leverage uh, API Gateway and Lambda to make your API calls and those Lambda would make the call to your uh, LLM endpoints. And as you, uh, after you make the call, you get the response back, you could you would want to monitor the, both the request and the response, right? So once you have that, you could call um, partner tools like Ylabs uh, to integrate with that partner tool to uh, detect whether your prompts or responses have any, any of those concerns we just talked about. And that's kind of the architecture we're going to be uh, looking at today. Uh, so you can use SQS uh, as one of the options to decouple that uh, call and send it and send it to um, a monitoring uh, tool such as Ylogs and Lankit, which is actually a, a open source tool that's available. And Ylabs is actually one of our partners in the marketplace who provides uh, AI observability uh, functions and, and the metrics that are captured in the in the in, from from the Ylogs and Lankit is actually sent to Ylabs, and Ylabs has a dashboard where you can monitor those metrics. So we will look, look at this architecture uh, from a, in a demo next. So in this demo, uh, we'll be monitoring an LLM uh, using, the, using the Ylabs Lankit. And I have a notebook here uh, to demonstrate that. So we will be looking at how to monitor those prompts and responses uh, to, the LLM, to the LLM model um, you, in, for different dimensions, such as text quality, text relevance, from security and privacy perspective, as well as sentiment and toxicity perspective. So basically, I'm setting up uh, some of the libraries here. Uh, I'm setting up SageMaker. I'm using Lankit, which is one of the open source uh, toolkits available from um, Ylabs that helps you uh, track metrics for your prompts and responses. And I'm installing that. And then I'm setting up SageMaker uh, session. And then I'm setting up the Ylabs credentials because once I capture the metrics on the client side, I'm going to be sending that over to Ylabs so that I can um, view it on the dashboard and set up some alerts uh, when it breaches certain thresholds. So I'm loading up some environment variables and then uh, importing some libraries, the Ylogs and the Lankit. And I'm initializing the LLM metrics, uh, which, is, uh, which gives me a schema. And that's the one that is being sent out to Ylabs uh, when we capture those metrics. And then I'm deploying the uh, LLM to an endpoint for LLM monitoring. So here, the LAMA2 model that I showed you earlier uh, in one of the other demos, 
and that's being used here uh, to monitor. And now I'm going to be monitoring for prompt injection, which is one of the concerns we talked about, right? So, um, so how would I do that? Basically, Langkit provides uh, something called injections module. You can use that module to actually detect if there is a prompt injection. So basically here I'm sending a, a couple of different prompts. You can see uh, what are the benefits of Roth IRA, tell me a joke, well, how to steal a car, <laughs> not, not a thing uh, to do, but uh, just to figure out if it's able to uh, detect that, right? So, and here I'm just printing the score. So it, it, the LAN kit actually looks at this prompt and comes up with a score, right? So here you can see the, for the first question, what are the benefits for Roth IRA? It's 0 0.203. Tell me a joke, it's 0.258. But how to steal a car, it's pretty high, right? 0.627. So it detects that that prompt is actually um, is being injected uh, or has malintent. So that's kind of how it detects. Uh, the library uses some small um, language models behind the scenes and detects um, uh, whether or not the prompt is being injected. So you can use this as a guardrail uh, before you even send the prompt to your LLM. So that's something you could build it, right? So, so here, uh, continuing on that story here, I'm just doing a couple more prompts and then you can see here the different scores here, right? So. And here, actually, I'm logging it to um, the Y Labs using the Y Log uh, API. So here, I'm sending actually I'm I'm s sending the um, the prompt. Assume this is a good prompt. I filtered it. I want to be able to run the prediction on it, um, right? So in this case, you know, what are the benefits of Roth IRA as an example? I send it to uh, my investment uh, advisor, fine-tuned LLM. Uh, and that comes up with the response. And now I want to be able to monitor not only the prompt and the response too, right? So I'm just putting both of them together and then setting up that schema, uh, the LLM uh, uh, schema that, I've, that we have set up earlier, um, which is right above here, LLM, in, uh, LLM metrics in its schema. And that's being used here to send it to uh, Y Labs. And you can actually look at, uh, it creates something called profiles. Uh, profiles are nothing but um, summary statistics. So uh, the way Ylogs and y, y Labs work together, none of your raw data is being sent. It's only those computed um, statistics are being sent. So that way it can help pro preserve uh, your data privacy. And that's the response and that's being sent. And you can see here it says, uh, it sent the profile and also it gives you a URL where you can click on and go to uh, YLabs dashboard and look at it. We will do that in a second. And uh, here I'm doing that in a, uh, I'm sending it in a loop, uh, doing multiple prompts and uh, to get a little more traffic and you can see the responses, right? And that's pretty much how you would do the prompt injection monitoring. And next up is basically uh, toxicity and sentiment, which is another set of concerns we spoke about, right? So you want to be able to monitor for um, as toxicity as well. None of the hateful content is being consumed by your users, right? So, um, and that's, you need to put some guardrails in there. So, and for that, you need to detect it first. And that's what this allows you to do. So basically here, I'm loading some data sets with some hateful comments. And uh, I'm using the, uh, uh, and, and then I'm sending the um, prompts here, right? So I love flowers, I hate biscuits, right? And then I'm sending, and then I'm logging it basically here, right? And then see what, um, how it, it's being detected, whether it's being uh, detected as a, as a toxic content or not. And it aggregates those, uh, uh, records into a profile and sends it over to YLabs. So we can look at in YLabs how it has categorized that. We can also look at it locally by uh, doing this command here, right? So you can basically convert the YLogs profile uh, into Pandas data frame. 
but just by doing dot view to pandas. So now you can look at all the different metrics that um, Lankit and Wilox computes for your prompts and responses, right? So you can see various metrics here at the prompt level, you know, what are the, how many cardinality of the prompts, uh, what is the reading level, right? So for your prompt and, and, and the readability index for your prompts and responses, or there any difficult words, reading ease, does it have any patterns? Actually, you can even detect for any kind of patterns such as, you know, maybe it has SSN, maybe it has um, address and phone numbers and things like that. You can actually use regular expressions to detect patterns in your prompts as well. Injection, which is what we spoke about earlier, so it can detect that and give you a score. Uh, and jailbreaks as well. And sentiment uh, is another uh, metric it can compute. And toxicity as well. And all of this is sent to while apps, and we can look at it and set up thresholds to alert as well. And you can see here uh, 17 rows were aggregated uh, into profile uh, and actually sent to while apps. And here you can see some of the scores uh, for that uh, sentiment, right, for those prompts. Uh, it has a hateful comments sentiment score of negative 0.343. And average is this 0 0.046, and for toxicity it has 0.345, and for non-hateful comments uh, it has 0.15. And then, as the regular expressions I uh, spoke about a little bit earlier, uh, you can look for mailing address or SSNs and things like that uh, using regular expressions. Uh, you can define your own custom formats as well. Um, so basically here I'm sending a prompt uh, for an address and then uh, to using Y logs and then doing a pandas to the profile views and see how it looks like. So technically here it should flag this has a, a address, right? So it should be has patterns, right? And uh, and then detecting PII. Uh, which is basically sensitive information. So here I'm sending a prompt that has some credit card numbers, right, passport numbers and phone numbers. And uh, and I'm using this PI module from uh, Lankit and uh, sending the prompt uh, and response here uh, and then checking whether it has detected that, right. So you can see here uh, it does come up with the result. Uh, the prompt does have a credit card starting from I know, 82 ending at 101, right? And a score of one, which means it detected it's a credit card. So it can do a sensitive uh, data detection as well. And you can apply a guardrail and say, I don't want to be, uh, you know, filter that out. You don't want to send that response or, or even a prompt. You can monitor the prompt as well uh, for sensitive information. So here you can see prompt as patterns, credit card number. And then finally, we are looking at relevance. So the prompts uh, you are sending to an LLM, uh, you want to make sure it's related, uh, the response is related to the prompt, right? So it's not giving you some um, hallucinated response. So one of the uh, ways to do that is to look at the, correlate the prompt and the response using some kind of a similarity metrics. And then, um, based on that, you can compute relevance, right? So, and that's kind of what we are doing using the Ylogs uh, Lankit library. So here you can see, uh, I'm I'm sending a prompt. What is the primary function of mitochondria in a cell? I feel tower is a renowned landmark in Paris. So it's totally um, unrelated, right? So, uh, so it should come back with some kind of a, a readability. Uh, issue for that, right, so. Oh, 
All right, and finally, you can actually uh, set up um, all of these um, I've shown you on a notebook. You can, when you're running it in a production environment, you can set up a rolling logger, and uh, and then you can send all these periodically, maybe every five minutes, all your prompts and responses uh, to Waylabs. And only those profiles are sent over. And that way, you, your endpoints can be performant. And using this uh, telemetry agent, you can do that. So now let's go and look at the Y Labs uh, platform and see the metrics we have uh, collected. Uh, how does it look like there, right? So, so here I can see uh, my. I have already set up those uh, models here, right? Because I was using that as part of uh, sending information. You need to set up the resource. In this case, it's my, my Llama to Investment Advisor as a model, and then I have um, the profiles that we are sending is actually uh, here. You can see. I think I named it as LLM prompt and response. Uh, and then here you can see the metrics it has collected for that profile. Uh, so you can look at, uh, maybe we can start a summary. It actually shows you all of the profiles it has captured and the resource information, the integration health, the security uh, metrics, performance metrics, telemetry health, and so on, right? So that's the dashboard uh, or summary. And then the dashboard is basically showing you a little more, uh, you know, graphical way of looking at things. Was there a prompt data leakage, right? You can see there is some here. And then what's my prompt injection? You can see there is some here. Uh, and then was there a jailbreak? You can see there was a jailbreak. And then how is my sentiment, right? So kind of uh, uh, see that sentiment has uh, kind of dropped. And toxicity, also you can see um, that's high and it's dropped. And uh, response sentiment, I may not have enough data there. And things, and, and many more metrics you can capture, right? From data leakage, response data leakage, and things like that. I mean, there is one actually, response toxicity, you can see here. And also you can look at the Inspi Insight Explorer to see what kind of insights are there. Uh, in this case, you can see, um, you know, what's my prompt reading level? Maybe I should change this to prompt and response and see anything else is there, so. All right, so so here I can see there is a reading level, um, readability index, count, and words. Um, and and if there, when there are more insights, you would see, it, see them on the screen, right, so. So that's how you would monitor uh, your LLMs uh, using, um, you know, one of our partner tools like Ylabs, and we have other partner tools like Truera uh, and others as well. You, and they are available on Marketplace. You can integrate them today with your LLMs and, uh, and, uh, and your RAG applications as well, right, and monitor your prompts and responses. Yeah, in summary, in this video, uh, you've seen how to monitor LLMs. Uh, we have looked at how to uh, monitor for prompt injections, jailbreaks, monitoring for sentiments, toxicity, and many more, uh, using our partner tools uh, such as Ylabs. Uh, that's what we demonstrated in this. You can use other tools as well and ensure your LLMs are uh, secure and build your generative AI applications uh, safely, securely, and responsibly. And thank you for watching.